In this video, I'd like to talk about a new UI library that is an absolute game changer for us React and Next.js developers. And if we head over to the screen, the UI library that I am talking about is Next UI. And in this video, I wanted to talk about why I'm using Next UI and the cool benefits and some of the components that I am currently using in my applications to make them look awesome. So first things first, right? What is Next UI? Just like Shad CN UI and almost all component libraries, it is a component library. Essentially, it is pre-written code that you can install and it is given to you by the application so that you can use in your application. So for example, right? Let's say we wanted a card. As you can see on the screen, they have a pre-built card for you to use by just copying the code once you've installed it into your application. And so right now you're probably saying like, what's the difference then between Shad CN UI, Next UI, whatever Daisy UI, like there's a bunch of UI libraries. Why are you picking Next UI as your next new library? For the most part, most UI libraries are the same. You know, like I I've talked about this in the past, you're not really going to see a huge difference if you're using Shad CN UI or Next UI. Sure, they may have their cool benefits, maybe when creating forms and sending data and stuff like that. However, for the most part, for looks, if you go over to Next UI, you're probably going to have the same look as the other component libraries. However, why I'm such a fan of Next UI is that it is made for Next.js. It's literally called Next UI. And I just feel like after using it for, for some time now, this is the main one I, I think any Next.js developer should be using because it fits so well with Next.js. In addition, the look is so modern. Like I have never seen a UI library that is so up to date with what the standards are for looks of a website. And I'll go over some of the components, at least some of my favorite components later. However, for now you can see they have a lot of options that fit the look that the modern day asks for. For example, one of my favorite ones is the code. I'm probably going to use this in a lot of my applications because I do show a lot of code and my apps include a lot of code. However, look at this. This is one that you have at your fingertips. It's amazing. It looks great. Everyone's using it and you know, it's just there. And I, I like the fact that it's so simple yet so good. Now we'll get into setting it up and going over some components. However, the final thing that I just really liked about using um, Next UI is the different options that they have. So unlike Shad CN UI and Daisy UI, I think maybe Daisy UI has this, they just have a lot more options. Like they both don't have like the date input. I know Shad CN they don't. They don't have the circular progress, which I, I'm going to use a lot for loading states. They don't have the range calendar. Like most UI libraries will have some sort of calendar, but they have a range calendar, which is awesome. Like you can pick the dates, little things like this. I just love, I love the fact that they have these cool little, you know, neat additions to their UI library. I, I, I'm just a fan of it. And it's just cool to have that many options, even though you may not ever need them, you know? Now, okay, so we can guys get rid of this, but I, I just wanted to go, go over why I love this. And so let's just get started with setting up the application and setting up next UI so we can just build something cool. I am guessing that you have your next JS application. Hopefully it's next JS, but they also have stuff for Astro and react and to install next UI. All we need to do is just go to the installation here. And I just realized I'm pretty zoomed out. So I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better, but we just need to install next JS react and frame motion. And so let's just put it into here. So CD UI, we need to go into that library and just run npm install at next UI dash org react frame or motion. And once we hit enter here, it may take some time to load. And once we have that installed, we do have to do the module exports next so we can put into our app. So let's just do that real quick. So let's copy this, go into our tailwind config.js, which is over here and up here, let's import it firstly. In addition, we need to copy this from contents like that. And finally, we need to copy all of this fun stuff and paste it all the way down here and delete this instead because we already have that. And the final step of the installation process is to just call it in our layout of the application. So let's just do that real quick. 
that's import next UI provider and then next UI within the children of the application. So let's do this. And this. And there we go. Now, one problem I do have with Next UI is the installation process, but we just set it up. It's real fast. It's, it's not a problem. But unlike Shad, CN, and Daisy UI, you don't really have to do this. So this might be a bit, a bit of a hassle, but I think once we get into building stuff and you'll see how cool the UI is, this will not be a problem. And so let's just run the application. So I'm going to run clear and run dev. And let's just see what our app looks like now so that you know we can start editing it for some cool UI components. And so we can see here, because I added the stuff in the bottom, this will looks kind of funny. So let's go into our page and delete all of these things that we do not need. Mmm, div. <laughs> div like this. There we go. And in here, let's just write hide to see if it's working. And there we go. So, okay, it looks a little flunky. So let's go into our globals.tsx. And let's just delete all of this because we do not need it. And so with that said, right, we deleted everything here that we do not need. And with that being said, let's just get into building some cool things. So let's just go to components and let's just see what they have available. So I'm not going to use the avatar because that's pretty simple. However, I want to see some other cool ones. So, hmm, what could be a cool one? I think let's, let's do the range calendar. I was really impressed with that. And to install it, we can see here, we can just run npm install. So let's close this. And here, I'm gonna make a new one and run cd ui. And then npm install next ui org dash calendar. And we have that. So let's go into our page and, let, and let's run this. So how do we import this? Import, cool, it's just right here. Documentation is pretty good. And then I guess we just call it. So let's see the code. Read only. All right. Let's get this one. I think this would be pretty cool. And run a range calendar. So in here, let's do range calendar and close it up for now. Um, I know it's probably not going to look too good, but we can see a nice little range calendar just like that. And so let's just add a little padding here so we can see everything. So padding top of, let's say, 40 flex items center justify center so right now we have this little background here and okay hold on let's make the background completely dark so last name bg black for now can we do that thank you very much it looks okay however let's look at some more uh components let's open the sidebar up and let's just go over some and one of my favorite ones, as we covered, was the code. So let's try that one out real quick. And this one I'll probably use for, you know, just displaying code. Or like maybe if you want to have like a copy button, if, if we have, if we're displaying code and we want people to copy it, I think this would be really cool. So let's just try this out. So I think if we just remove slash calendar, just do slash code. I think this will work. Hopefully. I don't know. And let's just go back here. And let's just, I guess, display the code from next UI. I'm really liking the installation and calling. It's, it's actually quite nice. Um, I haven't really used this too much, as I said, but I think if we go back here, uh, refresh the page maybe. Oh, oh, this is why you need to read documentation, guys. Do this and then npm install nizzy. Let's do that and let's just see how this comes up. Freaking perfect. This looks awesome. I re I'm really liking it. I know I'm probably overreacting a bit, but this is, looks really cool. And let's see some color schemes, okay? Colors, color, default, nice, nice. Okay, so let's do the success one. And so as you can see, the documentation is quite nice. I'm not sponsored, I promise I'm not sponsored. But I'm just really liking it. Like I'm definitely gonna use this with like a copy button for installations, for code displays. This is just a great one. I'm actually gonna delete this because it does not look too good with the calendar. However, let's go over a couple more. I just, you know, I really, I'm really liking it. For example, one that I really liked and what got me hooked on it was the card, more specifically with the image, maybe something like this. I just love this blurred footer. It looks awesome. So let's try it out. So blurred footer, let's get the code for the card. So next UI add card. So again, as usual, npm install card. And so if I put it up here, I can show you actually better. We just ran npm install card. 
And so let's just call it. So what did they use? They are calling card footer image and that. So let's do that. Just like this. Oh, so we don't need the, we don't need the image. Let's go to the image. And then within this, let's just run. Let's copy this. Why not? I got way too excited for that. And then here, let's run this. And hopefully, if we check the application once more, we can see this. I mean, it looks kind of funny, but oh, I see, I see. So everything here is text white. We don't want it to be text white. We want it to be text black. There we go. And then BG black text, no white. We don't want white. We want black. And then in the image, this is a JPEG. So let's just grab a random image. Let's do messy PNG just for the fun of it. Sure. Let's do this one. Why not? Let's call it messy. And then in here, we can just go into public, grab messy. I don't even know why I'm doing messy dot slash <laughs> messy dot PNG. And I think if we see this looks freaking awesome, dude. Look at this. Um, women listening to music, blah, 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 blah. Card is blurred. And I think if we run a background of like black, we can maybe add the, the nice, nice. So let's just do background of gray just to see what it looks like. 300. Oh damn, American grayness, bro. There we go. I want this blue one though. Um, oh, you know what? It will be a part of the background. But if we delete this range calendar, you can see the card just looks awesome. I'm I'm just a big fan of it. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Maybe if we make it 400, it'll be a bit nicer. So you can see this one is awesome. I could definitely be seeing myself using this in a, how do I say this? Something coming soon, you know, like a pre-release, maybe a card display on my app. So this one, I'm a really, really big fan of, especially this card over here. And you know, when we press this, it looks awesome. I love this so much. And the final one I just maybe wanted to, to talk about is I saw it earlier and I was just really, really big fan of was the skeleton. So where's the skeleton at? Right here. This one, that voice crack. Again, I'm not going through puberty, I promise. So let's try this out. The skeleton I'd probably use and we should use it when we're loading data. So let's say I have a video that needs time to load. I'd want to use something like this so that it would fetch the data as this is loading. Instagram does this, a lot of applications do this so that the user doesn't leave right away. Cause if there's nothing on the screen and the data's coming in, no one knows what's going on, right? So this just allows us to have something there so the user knows that something is gonna show up. So let's just install this once more. So npm install skeleton. So skeleton. And by the way, all this code will be down below. Like if you want to have the code for installation, um, you can use the documentation, but if you want this specifically, then I'll also leave that down below. Let's see what we need. So import react from react. And let's just grab all of this. Why not? Let's delete all of this. And bam. Oh, we forgot to import skeleton. Oops. Just like that. And if we go back, hopefully it works. There we go. Looks chef's kiss. This looks amazing. That was really cringy. <laughs> it looks awesome. Um, part of me really likes the white, but I also want maybe like a darker background, maybe one like they've shown here. So let's just try that out. So background of gray maybe maybe slate 300 or something i don't know man let's just try shit out nah that looks too bad but i really like the shininess of it looks awesome there we go this looks a lot better um but again i could see myself using this for loading states like videos without the card mostly just the skeleton this one's amazing i think this one might be my my favorite one but yeah that has been next ui i'm gonna be definitely using this on my next uh, SaaS project, which I'm actually going to announce very soon. It's going to be a really exciting one. I know I've talked a lot about the platform, but yeah, that has been next UI. I'm a really big fan of this and you know, just there's a lot of options and that's what I really like about it. But at the end of the day, you know, it's just a UI library. It doesn't really matter, but just a cool little one that we can start using. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. These videos cost you nothing to watch, but it means the world to me. So a subscription and a like would really go a long way. And also if you wanna join the Discord where we have like 900 members, then I will leave that down below for you know any questions or if you want friends to code with. Happy coding, good luck, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.